Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, as you can see, I will be ranking every song from 21 Pilots' new 2024 album, Clancy, from worst to best. Now, this is just my opinions, so don't, uh, you know, don't hate on me in the comments if my opinion is absolutely different from yours. I respect everyone's opinion. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into this ranking video. So coming in at my least favorite song on the whole entire album, at number 13, we have Snap Back. And I can't really say I hate any song on this album, Clancy. I really love pretty much every song on it, but there are a few songs that I really don't like as much as, you know, most of the others. And uh, Snap Back is actually my least favorite. Um, it's kind of more of a boring and like chill song than the others. I mean, The Craving is another one that's really chill, but I actually really like that one. But Snapback is like, I think the drums, I mean, the drums are kind of cool, but they're also kind of boring and repetitive. Uh, I guess I like the lyrics in this song, but it's kind of like a, it's, it sounds kind of sad. <laughs> but um, Snapback, I feel like is definitely my least favorite because it's just, I feel like it's just boring. It's a boring beat, but um, I still like the song. It's just, I don't hate this song. I just, I like it, but it's, it's my least favorite on the album just because it's I find it kind of boring and repetitive so uh, yeah let's move on to the number 12 spot so my second least favorite uh, coming at number 12 is actually next semester I I'm sure you guys weren't really expecting that but yeah next semester is definitely a song that um, has definitely grown off me quite a bit um, ever since it got released back on March 27th uh, yeah I'm um, I don't really get the hype of this song. It's I definitely like it more than Snapback because it's definitely more you know. It's kind of like more of like a punk rock song, more like alternative indie from like early 2000s. It's giving me vibes from like the early 2000s. So it's it's a nice song, but it's like it's not. Um, it's definitely not one of my favorites on this album because there are just so many great songs on this album that I I, I couldn't put this one up there because I feel that some of the other songs I just love way more than this song. But I do like the beat of Next Semester. I love the drums. Josh's drums are fantastic on this song. I love Tyler's vocals on this song, and I love the lyrics, and I really do like the music video. So it's not much bad I have to say about this song. It's just all the other songs I think are way better than this one. But this one is still pretty cool, and it's giving me vibes from the early 2000s. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good song. It's a nice single that they released in March, but um, not one of my favorites on the album, but it's still, uh, it's still like, I, I'd say this song is better than most songs on Scaled and Icy. So this album is very, so far this album is just great. So I do like Next Semester, it's just not one of my favorites on the album. So that's why it's in number 12. Coming in at number 11, we do have Paladin Straight. And this is the album closer for Clancy. This is the last song on the album, and I think it does a great job at closing the album. It's a nice long song. It's six minutes. But is it one of my favorite songs on the album? No, it's not. Um, this is one of the most... This is like the song on the album that sounds the least like a 21 Pilots song, and that's not why I don't like it as much as the others. I just think that, like I said with Next Semester, I love all the others way more than some of the songs I'm putting here at the bottom. Uh, but Paladin Straight does a great job at closing um, out the album. Like I said, it's a nice long song. It's six minutes. And I can't wait to see the music video whenever the hell they release it in, in June or whatever. I think they're going to, they said it was going to be released early June and it's already June 10th. So when the hell are they going to release the Paladin Straight music video? I don't know though. But yeah, it's a nice song. It's, it's a nice album closer. I just don't like it as much as the others. I do find it kind of boring a little bit, but I'm sure the music video will make up for that, and I'm sure we'll get some... I bet the music video will be fantastic for this song. So yeah, that's Paladin Straight in the number 11 spot. I do like it, but I somewhat think it's kind of boring, but it's still a, it's still a decent song, and it's still a nice album closer. So yeah, let's move on. Coming in at number 10, we do have The Craving, Jenna's version. Now this is a nice, you know... Um... This is a nice love song. Uh, it's I love the ukulele in it. I love how, you know, Josh is completely banned from this song. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no, but still, um, I love the ukulele. I love the, um, 
I love how his vocals in this because it's I love how he's talking about his wife and how like he's like I can't even explain the song really I just love it um, it's a nice love song um, and his vocals are great in this song but they kind of make me want to cry sometimes if that makes sense and I, I'm not and I'm not one to cry when I listen to music but um, yeah no it's a great love song I just feel like some of the other songs I like a bit more than this one but I still love the song the craving Jenna's version what a nice love song I uh, I bet that um, you know I bet Jenna really appreciates this song that he made for her so yeah, the Craving Jenna's version, that's a great love song. That's probably my favorite love song of all time. <laughs> Not that I listen to much love songs, but yeah. The Craving Jenna's version is uh, a pretty nice love song. So yeah, let's move on to the number nine spot. Coming in at number nine, we do have Lavish. Now, Lavish is um, a song that I feel has lots of nice rap in it, but I feel that the instrumental is kind of weird. Um... But I love the rap in this song. I love, I pretty much love every Tornado Pilots rap song. You can't go wrong with Tyler Joseph's rap. But um, in this song in particular, I feel like the rap doesn't really go well with the instrumental, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, uh, when the album first came out, I actually, uh, when I first heard this song, um, I really liked this song. But then as I start, as I listened to it more, I was like, mm, you know, this song isn't even that good compared to the others and i was i was i was realizing how the uh rapping doesn't really go well with the instrumental but it's still a nice song you know it might just be me it might just be my stupid ears or something uh hearing something wrong about the song i don't know but lavish is still a nice fun song always you know, fun to listen to i love the music video for it and uh yeah i think tyler said it was probably his favorite music video filming i think but yeah lavish is still a nice song it's uh it's got some nice rap in it I just don't really like the instrumental part, but it's it's still it's still cool. So lavish is my yeah number nine. Um, I still like the song; it's a great song. But yeah, let's move on to the number eight spot. Now coming in at number eight, we have Oldie Station. Now, if you want to talk about a boring, repetitive song that I actually do enjoy and I actually really like, this is it. This is Oldie Station. Um, yeah, this is uh, now we're we're crossing a line here. This is where we start to talk about the songs that I actually think are absolutely amazing tracks, which, uh, as you can see, this is eighth spot, so these eight songs going forward, I really do like, and I think they're absolutely amazing songs. So, starting with Oldie Station uh, for number eight. Yeah, um, I really do like this song. It's grown on me ever since it got released. I don't know how to explain it. I just love the... I like the drums in it, even though they're repetitive. I love the Josh's drums in it, and I like... Uh, I really do like Tyler's vocals in this song. Um, how he's like, keeps on talking about how you need to push on through. Um, in fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but I I feel like... Um, maybe... Oh, never mind. I, th I think I'm wrong, but I feel like I heard that Tyler said that... The original name of the song was going to be Push On Through, which makes sense. But no, it's Oldie Station. Um, but yeah, it's a great song. I love how... I, I love the music video, too. It's a simple music video, but I like it. And I love the song. It's great. It's grown on me so much. I love the, the, ni the nice like synths in the uh, when it gets to the end of the song. And uh, I really do, do like the last part of the song. It's great. But yeah, Oldie Station, amazing song. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Coming in at number seven, we have Backslide. Now, when this first, when this song first came out, I uh, I really liked it. I I really did like it, and I still really do like it. But I think it's just grown off me a little bit, like that much. Um, but it's still a great rap song. This is still, you know, I love the music video for this. It's like uh, it's like stressed out 2.0. I, I especially the music video. It's like stressed out 2.0 with him with him on that bike or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what you want to call it. Um, but yeah, the music video is great. I love the rapping in this one. Tyler's rapping is phenomenal in this song. And I love the instrumental. The beat is amazing. Um, and everything about this song is great. I have pretty much nothing to say about it that's bad other than it's, like I said, it's grown off me a little bit ever since it got released. You know, since I've been listening to the album a lot lately, songs are going to change. You know, my opinions are going to change on certain songs. And Backslide was one of them that I thought was going to be maybe even in my top four, 
but it's a uh, it's a uh, number seven. But I still really do love Backslide. It's a great rap song. What can I say? I still think it's pro. It's definitely you know a really good song. So yeah, Backslide. It just has a bunch of rap that I really like, and the instrumental is great. So that's why it's in number seven. Coming in at number six, we have Navigating. Now this is a song that has grown on me immensely ever since it got released back on the release date of Clancy. Um, I love Josh's drums on this song. I, I love Tyler's vocals on this song. I love everything about this song. Um, this is basically like, um, this is how I like to say it. I, I think this is the better, the way better next semester. Um, in fact, this is the song that we heard at the beginning of the next semester music video back in March. But yeah, navigating, it's really grown on me. I love this song. It's like a, it's definitely Tom Pilot's best rock song in my opinion. Well, no, I think I still like Heavy Dirty Soul more than this one. But navigating is absolutely amazing. It's, it's grown on me so much. And I, like I said, Josh's drums are amazing in this. Like, listen to this song if you haven't listened to it, and you're gonna love it. I, I can tell you that. And I love the music video, how it's all lore-focused and lore-related. It's really heavy with lore in the music video. It shows all the banditas and stuff. But yeah, Navigating is a great a great song. Go watch the music video right now if you haven't already. It's uh, I love Navigating. It's great. But we're moving on, and the songs that I'm about to show you or talk about are going to be even better than this one. So yeah, hope you guys... If you, if you sticked with me this long into the video, then thank you. It means a lot to me, and yeah, let's move on. Coming in at number five, uh, yeah, we're finally down to the my five favorite songs here on Clancy. So yeah, number five, we have uh, Overcompensate. This is an amazing song. I love Tyler's rap in this song. I love Josh's uh, drumming in this song. I love how it's like, it's the perfect length. It's like, I think three minutes and like 40 something seconds or three minutes and 50 something seconds. It's not too long, but it's definitely not too short. And um, that's what I love about this song. It's just great. And I love the music video. Um, it's definitely, you know, really lore related. And it was a great song to start off the album with. And I think it is right as of right now, my favorite out of the three singles that they released uh, before the... Uh, you know, album drop on the 24th of May. So yeah, Overcompensate, great song. Um, if you haven't listened to this or watched the music video, I suggest you go watch it right now. It's a great song, and I have nothing really bad to say about it. Um, it's pretty much, I think, always been in my, my number five spot ever since the album got released. So yeah, Overcompensate, what a great song. Um, it never gets old, and I love listening to it whenever I can. So that's Overcompensate. Coming in here at the number four spot, we have Routines in the Night. Now, this is a really great song, and it's simple, but it does the job justice. Now, what it, it's it got some nice rap in it by Tyler Joseph, but what I really like is the music video and the instrumental. Um, I love Josh's drums, even though the, in the song, the actual song, it kind of sounds like fake drums. I just love the beat. I... Uh, I really love the music video where it's, they're actually in the night and it shows Tyler just walking around. I think it's supposed to be his house or maybe like an Airbnb he's renting. I don't even know. Or a hotel. He's like walking around in it at the, in the nighttime. I love the special like, you know, light effects in the music video, but it's a great song. I love his, uh, I love Tyler's uh, singing in this and his rapping. And uh, it's definitely, you know, uh, it's nothing. It's something I'll never get sick of. And uh, it's one of those songs that uh, I'll just really, I, I really do like Routines in the Night. It's a great song. And it's ever since I first heard it, it's, I knew it was going to be one of my favorites off the album. And it is. So that's why Routines in the Night is number four spot. Let's move on. Coming in at number three, we have At the Risk of Feeling Dumb. Now, this is another one of those songs that's actually really grown on me a lot since I first, uh, you know, watched the music video on the release date of Clancy. Um, yeah, this song is is pretty much a mix, in my opinion, and what I, from what I've heard, it's a mix of rock, rap, and indie. It's a great song. I love the mix of everything in it, pretty much. Um, those are my favorite, by the way, rock, rap, and indie, those... Or no, yeah, rock. 
sorry, I'm getting confused here. Rock, rap, and indie. Those are my three favorite music genres. And to have it all mixed in one song by 21 Pilots, that's absolutely awesome. So at the risk of feeling dumb, it's a great song. Um, it's definitely not a dumb song. <laughs> but um, no, I love the music video too. I love how they're like, you know, going around Columbus, Ohio, filming in... I mean, that's what they did in Lavish. Uh, I'm getting confused with Lavish. Uh, at the risk of feeling dumb, they just, they're on top of a building in downtown Columbus, Ohio. Um, I love, you know, when they start the heavy drums by Josh Dunn and Tyler, Tyler screams at the risk of feeling dumb. It's great. It's a great song. Um, and it'll always be probably my third favorite song on the album. If not, it might even move up to my second or maybe even favorite song on the album. It seems like each day goes by. This song is, I like this song even more. So yeah, at the risk of feeling dumb, it's a great song. What can I say? Um, it's just, you know. It's amazing. Okay, let's move on. Coming in at my second favorite uh, song on this album of Clancy, number two spot, is none other than Midwest Indigo. Now, ever since I heard this song first, I knew that this would there would be it would be very hard for any other song on the album to top this song. But somehow another song did top this song, which if you've been paying attention, you probably already know which one that is. But no, this song's amazing. Midwest Indigo. It's, oh, I love everything about this song. I love this. I love the nice, you know, like synthy, um, the synth sound it that they uh, bring to us in the beginning of the music video, in the beginning of the song. Um, and then it cuts to Tyler, uh, you know, talking about, you know, it being so cold in, I in Ohio or something like that. I was about to say Idaho. No, Ohio. Um, but it's a great song. I love the drums in it. I love how it's nice. Like, you know, it's, it's a classic, you know, alternative indie song. Um, why did I say classic? It was just literally just released two years ago. I mean, two weeks ago. I don't know why I said that. But no, it's it's like it's, it gives us a classic, you know, alternative indie vibe with the drums and with Tyler's vocals in this. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's giving me kind of like M83 vibes from the synth in it. And I love the synth uh, sound in this song. Um, and I love the part where he's like, you know, <laughs> you know, he's falling down on the ice and he's like, roller, he's like ice skating all around the ice in the music video. It's, it's a great music video and it's a great song. Um, you know, this will always be one of my, probably one of my favorite Twin Pot songs of all time. Midwest Indigo um, is, you know, it's great and i do believe it has the most views on youtube out of all the songs that were dropped on the 24th of may so yeah it's a great song though uh midwest indigo it'll never get old it'll always be one of my favorite songs and uh yeah it's great let's move on to my favorite song from clancy let's go and here we go my absolute favorite song from clancy from the album Clancy by Twin Pots is Vignette. Uh, Vignette is, you know, when I first heard it, it was like, I was so, I, I knew I was, I knew I really liked it, but, and I, and I knew when I first listened to it, this was probably going to be my favorite on the album, and it is. Vignette is amazing. I love, I mean, Tyler's rap is amazing in this song. I know I've talked about Tyler's rap pretty much this whole album, but in this song in particular, his rap, I think, in my opinion, is the best um, from any song on this album. Uh, and, you know, I love the synth in this, you know, you know, the synth breakdown at the end of this song, the or something like that. It went something like that. But um, I love, you know, the synth breakdown in this. That just made me even like the song like that much better. Um, and I love Josh's drums in this song. I love the instrumentals. I love... I can't say, I literally can't say anything bad about this song. Um, I love it so much, and it's my favorite song from Clancy, and uh, it's just great. So Vignette is um, amazing. Go watch, uh, literally, I'm telling you right now, go watch that music video right now. Um, I love the music video as well. It's it's him, like, dancing around in the snow, making a kind of like a vignette of uh, Josh's face in the snow so it's actually a really cool music video you should go watch it right now um but yeah the song's amazing it hits so hard and it is my favorite song from clancy 
and it will probably always be my favorite song from Clancy. Um, yeah, it's just that good. So yeah, Vignette, my favorite song from Clancy, and if you did enjoy this video of me ranking every single song from the album Clancy by Twin Pilots from worst to best, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if I should do more content like this about, you know, Twin Pots or like different bands like this, because I am a music fan. I just don't really post about it that much on YouTube. But yeah, um, hope you guys did enjoy this ranking video. And if you did, please, you know, comment, let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.